Now to good health, it is the subject of science fiction. It has been for years, growing new human organs in a lab to replace ones that have been crippled by disease. Some researchers may be getting closer than you actually think. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with some potentially revolutionary research. For people with severe lung diseases, every breath is a struggle. And with donated lungs in short supply, many patients die waiting for a transplant. So two researchers in Texas got a crazy idea. Why not just grow some new lungs? Inside this Galveston lab, doctors are building lungs. We start with what nature is. This is from nature. We're not as good as this yet. And our goal is to get to the point where we are as good and we can bioprint a lung that would fit you if you needed a lung. Their idea started almost as a competition. Growing cells in a lab is one thing, but growing an entire organ that works with the human body is jumping way ahead. We then, um, decided, I was looking at the lung. Why not the lung? And everybody says, hey, you're nuts. So we went ahead and did it anyway. Over lunch, egging each other on about who could do it better, they jotted down ideas on a napkin. Kind of like that little brother kind of thing that says to you in a dare, do you think you can really do this and how could you? <laughs> That's exactly how the process started. It became the blueprint for their work. Now they're taking animal lungs, stripping them of all cells, leaving only the shape, and then implanting them with cells they hope will continue to grow once inside the recipient. In August, they became the first team to transplant these engineered lungs into a pig. I really think it will work. Based on what we saw in the animals as the, as the time went longer and longer, we saw these tissues continue to develop. So at first, I'm not kidding you, I'm not gonna tell you that we bioengineer an organ and it went in and it was perfect. Those tissues had to continue development in the animal, develop blood vessels, um, grow with the animal. There's still a long research road ahead to grow human lungs that fully function, but the potential to help patients is immense. Especially children with cystic fibrosis or some other pulmonary disease that are an issue for their breathing. It's professional passion that is also personal. Dr. Joaquin Cordiella has been diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. One of these days, I'm going to be looking at you, and you're going to be transplanting one of these things into me. A day he, along with many others, hopes to see. The researchers actually need help from people like you. Their work is made possible by using donated organs that are not suitable for transplanting into patients. They can use the skeleton of the lung, the cells, or the proteins, which means that the organ is still helping save lives. Back to you.